In this video, I'll show you how to maintain effective software license compliance using optimized CPUs for Amazon EC2 instance. The agenda for this video is, what is optimized CPUs for Amazon EC2 instance? What optimized CPUs for Amazon EC2 instances solves? Bring existing licenses with license mobility. How to maintain effective software license compliance using optimized CPUs for Amazon EC2 instance. What's optimized CPUs for Amazon EC2 instances? This feature provides customers greater control of their EC2 instances on two fronts. First, customers can specify a customer number of CPUs when launching new instances to save on vCPU-based licensing costs. Second, they can disable Intel hyperthreading for workloads that perform well with single-threaded CPUs like certain high-performance computing, HPC, applications. Check docs.aws.amazon.com slash AWS EC2 for more information. What optimized CPUs for Amazon EC2 instances solves? Customers running database workloads like Oracle and SQL Server on EC2 today want high memory, storage, and I.O. bandwidth but do not require high vCPU count, since these workloads are rarely compute-bound. Memory-optimized instance families such as Amazon EC2 X1 instances and Amazon EC2 R5 instances offer high RAM to vCPU ratio to help customers select appropriately sized EC2 instances. With optimized CPUs, Customers now have the added flexibility of specifying a customer number of vCPUs for new instances, while enjoying the same memory, storage, and bandwidth of a full-sized instance. This enables Bring Your Own License BYOL, customers to optimize their vCPU-based licensing costs. Please note that CPU-optimized instances will have the same price as full-sized EC2 instances of the same size. Bring existing licenses with license mobility. If you've, perched, if you've purchased software assurance with your Microsoft software, you may be able to take advantage of your existing Microsoft volume licensing investments and move to the AWS cloud without paying additional Microsoft licensing fees. The license mobility benefit is available to Microsoft customers with eligible server applications covered by active Microsoft software assurance. You can use AWS VM import or Cloud Endure to bring virtual machine images from your on-premises environment to the AWS cloud, enabling you to bring your existing Microsoft software licenses and virtual machine configurations to AWS. Let's take a look at this example. The customer is looking for an Amazon EC2 instance that has 32 vCPUs and 384 gigabytes of RAM. Also, the customer has a Microsoft Enterprise Agreement with 16 SQL Server Enterprise per core license. The license mobility applies to SQL Server covered by active Microsoft Software Assurance. The customer figures out that an Amazon EC2 instance type Z1D 12X large that has 48 vCPUs and 384 gigabytes of RAM matches the requirements but the customer only has on the enterprise agreement 16 SQL Server Enterprise license that is capable of licensing 32 vCPUs. With that, the customer should not be able to use Amazon EC2 Z1D 12X large instance due to the number of vCPUs combined with the enterprise agreement. An option is to turn off 16 vCPUs using Amazon EC2 optimized CPUs and then become compliant regarding license and achieving the technical requirements as well. Let's take a look at how to do that. From the AWS Management Console, click on EC2, then Launch Instance. Choose the AMI that you want to launch and click Select. Select the instance type Z1D 12X Large and click Configure Instance Details.
Scroll down to CPU options and select Specify CPU options. It's possible to see that the Z1D 12X Large has 48 vCPUs. I'll turn off the 16 vCPU, choosing the core count to 16. As you can see, now the total number of vCPUs is 32. Click Review and Launch. Select the key PAR and click Launch Instance. Now let's take a look at the results. I'm running the Amazon EC2 Instance Z1D 12X Large with only 32 vCPUs as configured in the AWS Management Console. In this video, I showed you how to keep compliance with license agreements using the feature Optimize CPUs for Amazon EC2 Instance. Thanks for watching.